tournament here at St. Cloud College versus University of Ottawa. So is looking for the, uh, the quick goal there. Fusion with the stop. It's a little 50-50 there. Fusion clearing it out. Kamal looking to take it in their zone. And he oh, that was so close. Kamal almost got the goal there. St. Clair squad looking to put it back into the into the University of Ottawa side. Fusion playing nice and slow here. So the tip off his car, nice off the backboard. And it goes in. Fusion with the goal. Beautiful. Four minutes and 23 seconds. Nice little goal by St. Clair. Fusion, nice little cheeky play off the backboard there. All right, looks like we show up right at the right time here. The uh, St. Clair squad giving, a, giving me a little bit of a gift with that goal, eh? So <laughs> this time by, we have the University of Ottawa up against St. Clair College, of course. U Ottawa just playing the loser's bracket run, kind of similar to what we saw our Saints themselves do. But now someone's run's got to end here, and we made the top eight, but do we want them? Or obviously we want to keep pushing forward to maybe a top five or four. And both these teams want it. Jay Chan find himself on the scoreboard. It's high this up nice and quick before that one minute mark. Yeah, what a, a beautiful little push there by Jay Chan. Just uh, and a clean little demo there as well. Looks like from Hexy there. Wow. They're all tied up in this game one. It's University of Ottawa and St. Clair. Hey, Kamal going to push this to the side for the moment, at least putting it into the corner to try to keep his team safe. The clearing attempt from Kariz, though, kind of falling a little bit short. Jay Chan able to pass it on back to Hexy. Could he find himself a shot, possibly? Doesn't look like it. Fusion going to push this aside for now. And Jay Chan looking to, still looking to get it out of their side. Uh, Kira's looking to keep it in. Fusion looking to take that one. It's a, it's a oh, well, it was an open net there, but Solis, Solis was there to, to stop it. Yeah, right place, right time. And now University of Ottawa keeping it stuck in the St. Clair zone. Hexy to the skies, takes the shot, and he's going to be able to find it, bringing it up to a 2-1 lead now for you, Ottawa. Jay Chan lobbed it up for him. Hexy just going to knock this down. Nobody home. Actually, two people on the side of St. Clair trying to make it happen, but could not make the save. A Jay Chan with a beautiful assist there. Just just uh, putting it right up there for Hexy to put it in. It's a nice little play there from them. Nice little demo there from Jay Chan to Kira's. Yeah, shutting down any sort of offensive opportunity for at least the briefest of seconds. We see Fusion trying to make that centering pass. Not going to end up happening, though. Hexy, a huge tip, actually. Uh, Hexy just getting these passes from Jade Chan in these last couple minutes have been absolutely paying off. The nice little deflect. Kamal tried his damnedest but could not find it. Puts it dead center, and now St. Clair are in the hot seat. There you're looking like they're in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, uh, Hexy and Jaychan are just are just showing what's up here. They're uh, they're, they're played together. The assists are just been beautiful from Jaychan, just setting them up, getting those shots in. That's three one right now uh, for the University of Ottawa. Uh, Saint Clair looking to bring it back, see if they can uh, see if they can get it out of their zone here. Fusion taking it out. Hexy with a shot right off the backboard, and J-Chan there. Oh. Uh, the Hexy and J-Chan squad going on here. It's uh, The duo is just really putting in work, I feel like. Of course, there's Hexy, J-Chan, and then Solis. But we haven't seen Solis or Solis. Um, I'll just go for Solis. But Solis seems to be the defensive-minded player on this side of U-Ottawa. Carries it up and then just lets J-Chan and Hexy make the sh plays happen. If see J-Chan shot on target, it would have been right where it needed to be if Kamal was not there to shut that down. Going to pass this off to Kariz. Kariz chasing it down. No boost in hands, however. Or no boost in the tank, rather. Sitting there, 56. Backflip. Bicycle kick. Can he put this forward? Hexy. Going to stop it for now, anyway. Yeah, I mean, St. Clair's really trying to put in work. They're getting a lot more aggressive here. Uh, Alan Solis. Oh. Hexy. Oh. Hexy. Wow. Hexy is just showing us what's up in this game here. 
Uh, Salise just nice made, his plate, made his play perfect there. Salise took the two members of St. Clair, held the ball in the crease just long enough, was able to eventually get that pop fly, and now we have uh, Hexy with his hat trick to open up this first game. Saints looked so strong to start things off. I don't know if I if I showed up and started commentator's curse or what, but <laughs> you Ottawa showing up and really putting a hurt on the St. Clair for game one. Yeah, I'm really hoping uh, St. Clair can try and pull through and and, uh, and adapt to the situation. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe uh, maybe uh, University of Ottawa is just playing a little more of an offensive game here, uh, really putting it to them. Uh, there's one minute remaining here. Uh, I'd like to see St. Clair try and pull something out here. And and Hexy with the save. Wow, he came out of nowhere. Keeping it out of the zone, and then when it's kept popped fly like this, it's just wasting time. Time that St. Clair do not have to waste. You see Chris trying to make something happen. At least dumps it in, tries to chase it, but Jay Chan is there to answer. Fusion misses his mark, not able to get the check on him. But Kamal then try and break out, but Hexy is pushing forward. And all this time wasted into St. Clair's corners is just basically securing game one for the side of U-Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm interested to see if St. Clair next game can maybe, maybe this game they're just trying to figure out, discuss how they can take the next game and uh, adapt to the situation that's going on here. Uh, I mean, I feel like J-Chan and, and uh, Hexy need to, be, need to be shut down. And a nice little, ooh, just, just wide there. Wouldn't have done much for them, but maybe a little bit of a confidence boost going into the next game. Absolutely. And Ottawa takes it. And if they're going to clean that one up, sure, they may have started a little bit behind, but they finish up extremely clutch, especially the big standouts, in my opinion, being from the, the passing plays from J-Chan and then Hexy constantly there to make the, the one-timers of sorts finish the plays off. And it looked absolutely fantastic from there. St. Clair, they got the ball started off the start, but... After that, it looked like a little bit worse for wear. Hello. Obviously, I am not uh, Zeddy anymore. This is Mr. Danners coming at you. A little bit of a mid or a bit in between game substitution here with Ramble. And it's been quite an exciting day. I don't want this to be the end. So hopefully, we can see our St. Clair squad pull through for game number two. It looks like has yeah, been a no time. Yeah, I don't want this to be the end either. I'm gonna see if St. Clair can maybe make the, you know, adapt the situation. The the J. Chen and uh, and Hexy, they're they're really they're really putting in work. So let's hope maybe they can shut that down. Uh, get maybe a little stronger offense going into this game here. Come on with a nice little save there, a nice little push into the center. I tried to make something happen in the corner, but it just gets cleared out pretty well right away. And now it's stuck into the St. Clair zone. Kariz is there to catch it, but he's going to get absolutely destroyed by Hex Hexky as he's now going to pass it up to J-Chan. Maybe try and switch up the play, let J-Chan get himself on the on the scoreboard in regards to goals. Or actually, Solis looking to make a quick play onto the, t onto the net, but not going to put it forward. Just going to have to pass it as Hexky goes up top where Kariz is. Akuras with a nice little push out there, pushing out to the center. Come on, oh. and then it goes in. Come on, with the goal, beautiful job. Saint Clair on the board on this game here. As we say in the FGC, we take those because that bounce was absolutely clutch for finishing that off. Kamal probably had the setup for the dump and chase, but the extra bounce off the defender of Jay Chan really helped clutch that up. So once again, Saint Clair going to take an early lead prior to this first minute mark, but this game is far from over. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I mean, really, I mean, really, they're they're changing up a little bit here. Um, I feel like the rotations are a little stronger uh, from St. Clair. Uh, they're really putting it in there. A nice little demo from Kamal and Hexy. Police taking it up. Kira's pushing it out. Okay. A demo from Hexy on the fusion. Look at that. Any downtime that Hexkey has here after making his play seems to be dedicated towards taking a player of St. Clair's completely off the field, sending them back to pit road for a second, because it's just absolutely brutal. Hexkey not wasting any time. Every minute that he's on this field, every second has a purpose, and it's always threatening. Yeah, no, I, I honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy how much he, he's taking people down. Oh. Like you said, every single time. Look at Bay Chan. Wow, so he sets him up this time. Oh. Uh, so he sets him up for the right off the backboard there. 
Oh, well, pretty close anyway. I love Jay that. gets a free little goal there. That soft little tap just to knock it down. <laughs> just completely snapping the axles off of these Sinclair defenders. Going to allow this game to get tied up, and it's looking like we have a bit of a deja vu situation here. If uh, if Sinclair isn't careful, University of Ottawa, of course, tying this game back up. And it was right around here where they started to kind of run away with it. Yeah, I have, I have confidence in the St. Clair squad to try and try and bring it out, try and bring it back. Um, I feel like they're playing a little bit of a different game this time. They're playing a lot more defensive. It looks like they have two defenders this time, and the, the rotations are nice and clean. They're all, they're all on the side of the ball here. Hexy going for the shot. Yeah, we got two defenders in there, Kira's and Fusion. They're trying to put Kamal up to try and see if maybe he can put some work in there. Wow, just off the mark. Barely going wide there, but it feels like Saliz is actually taking a bit more of an aggressive role here in game number two. He was kind of like the midfielder, always like one of the first ones back. But now we see him basically in the crease, in the corners, setting up the passes over and over again, just like that. Hexkey again going to get himself on the scoreboard after the solid pass from Saliz. Yeah, it does seem like the, the roles have kind of changed here. Maybe St. Clair can maybe do a little change up here and see if we can get a couple other players, you know, switch it around. Uh, we'll see what happens. See if they see if they adapt to that. Off the faceoff, kind of gets dumped into the University of Ottawa zone. Fusion there with the challenge. Going to get sent around, however. No control for St. Clair in the zone. Lose through the crease, however. Kariz was like, looking for it, but could not quite finish it off. Bay Chan going to then lead the charge here alongside Hexkey. It's going to get cleared away. And all the way down to the field. Kariz with the four check. Really trying to make something happen. Take out Saliz maybe. But it is going to get cleanly taken out of the U Ottawa zone for at least a moment. But here comes Kariz. There's a nice little carry there. Oh, just wide by a little bit there. Hexky was there to stop it. But yeah, I don't know. Almost. Yeah, almost, almost. Saliz. Saliz there to get rid of it. Push it out of their zone. J Chan looking to carry it in. Oh. Fusion looking to stop it. Wow! What a beautiful save by Fusion there. Nice little slow save, but sometimes those are the ones that get by you. He slowed it down so much. He tried to make the juke, make the, the play, blow the tires off him, but the St. Clair defender not falling for it at all. That being said, though, ball still in the St. Clair zone. Pressure's on. <laughs> nice little car bouncer and Hexy with oh, a wide no. open net. Hexy. Nobody I mean, just home. putting in work this guy. Yeah, no, nobody home. <laughs> Yeah, they, they went real aggressive on that one, put three guys up, two players up, and just... Wow. Well, let's see one more goal that we have, the Deja Vu in its completion here for game number two. But still a minute left to go. I've seen crazier comebacks this season alone, let alone in all of Rocket League. Day Chan trying to carry. A nice little contest there by Fusion. Kamal chasing it into the corner, centering off the roof. Salise actually passed it right into the bumper of Kariz, but Jay Chan going up top to make sure nothing happens. And now looks like Hugh Ottawa back on the attack. Yeah, I mean, that could have been a rough one there. Honestly, pass that right down to, uh, uh, to, to St. Clair there. And I mean, if there was anybody else in position for that play, that little knock up there, just couldn't make it happen, unfortunately. I'm sure Hexkey is looking for his second hat trick of the series if he can manage to find one more goal in the next 15 seconds. And he's actually got that shot right on target, but Fusion going to push that aside. 10 seconds to score two. And not quite impossible, but highly unlikely. A nice little slowdown there from Hexkey as well. This one is over. And for whatever reason, St. Clair likes to put themselves time and time again in positions where they give themselves absolutely no wiggle room and the pressure is on. And nine times out of ten, they actually make it work with a comeback. But we're going to have to hope to see that again. Otherwise, this is going to be a quick 3-0. U-Ottawa looking very solid here today. Yeah, yeah, and the GG's all around there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to see if St. Clair can tra try and, uh, and and maybe pull themselves together for this last one. Uh, not for this last one, but, uh, you know, this game, this kind of it's kind of go time. You know, if they, if they can pull it together, then, uh, you know, we'll see some more games here. So let's hope they can pull this one together. Two shots from St. Clair compared to the 14 from University wow. of Ottawa. That definitely shows the tale of the tape. That alone. Brutal stuff coming out here from University of Ottawa. And it seems like anytime St. Clair has to play defensive, they're the ones who end up going down. But if they can keep the pressure, just constantly force aggression, they'll be in perfect shape. We'll see 
soon enough here as game three is now underway. Now or never for St. Clair. Yeah, good little, a good little uh, start there for Kira is winning that, uh, that tip off. And uh, Sol is taking down Fusion there. Kishan taking the full boost there. See if he can make something work with that. Ball looking to center it. And it ooh, spread the back for Hexky. Ooh, Hexky there. Fusion in the center. This is a little more aggression. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm talking about right here. Keeping it in their zone. Keeping it out of their zone. This is what I'm trying to talk about. This is what I'm talking about. Kamal with the goal. Woo! A little mean, start. That's what I'd like to see. It's definitely a fantastic start, but I mean, we've seen this over and over <laughs> again in this series. This is going to be the third time in a row that St. Clair managed to score the first goal in this game. But now can they actually hang on to this lead? Usually, if... Uh, if history repeats itself yet again, as all the Saints are falling, apparently. Hexky and J-Chan getting aggressive with it, and the only one left is Fusion, and he pushes it forward, actually. Off the roof, can Fusion find a finishing shot? Not gonna find it, Kamal to the skies, drops it down. Solis with the save, Kariz challenges that, however, sends it right back to the side, but it is eventually gonna be passed out to Hexky. Loses it, but it is gonna be in the St. Clair zone for the time being. Yeah, it's very possible that uh, the last games there, they got their first goal and they figured, oh, we'll play more defensively, right? And just kind of protect that. Um, but maybe this time around, maybe they'll see, hey, we got to stay offensive. Keep these guys on the back foot. Okay, Fusion goes up with it. Salise right there as well. Drops it down. Korea's going to just push it aside. Try to throw J-Chan off at least a little bit. Kamal is looking to try and get the follow-up, though. Sends it through the crease. Kariz shot on target. Ooh. It's going to find it. Beautiful pass You're from Kamal. Red. And that demo as well, right by the net, I believe. Yeah, the goaltender gets taken out. Kamal making it clutch there. There would have been a goaltender there. Doesn't matter. Take him out of the play. And a nice little adjustment from Kamal and the rest of the St. Clair squad to give themselves their second goal and a different play style coming in clutch to start this first game, or this third game, rather. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're at the, we're at the cross, uh, crossbar there. Woo. Kira's looking to bring it into the to University of Ottawa side. Fusion, keeping it in. If they can keep this pressure up, I feel like uh, we might have a victory here on our hands. Three minutes in, or three minutes, two minutes down, three minutes left. And uh, yeah, we're just, I'm just seeing a lot more pressure out of the St. Clair squad. And I think that's what they, where they play best personally, is, is in a lot of pressure. They, they can't back down. The last chance, like no more mistake scenarios are often the times, like I was saying before, where they definitely play their best. However, like, it, you don't leave yourself any room for mistakes. They screw up, a, like, obviously two times in this scenario. We can be going to some overtime. And Kamal, he's really trying to put the hurt onto Hexkey, but it doesn't matter. Solis is going to get his first one of this entire series. The defensive playmaker finally getting on the board himself, finding the opening off the backboard, and sends it through right into the left pocket. And we have Yeah, usually a more of an... More of an assistant player there. He usually plays more of an assistant, passing it to uh, uh, to Jay Chan uh, there, but uh, or Hexkey. But yeah, he decides to take one for himself there. Yeah, an awkward clearing attempt here. Really puts St. Clair in an awkward spot. A nice check on the Hexkey. He was ready and waiting by the crease to make that shot happen. Didn't get demoed, but he got pushed aside, which sometimes is actually even better and makes it work. Salise going to get the balls kind of stuck in his own zone. Fusion going to contest, but actually, Hexkey's going to take it down the side. Pop fly in the crease. Salise going to try and make the shot happen. Not going to end up happening in this situation. Chris, they're going to try and carry it out. J-Chan, though, here to stop him, and he drops it for himself. Puts it up high along the wall. Going to be going towards net with it. Could be able to just drop it down the Hexkey. A bit of an awkward bounce, however. Just going to end up going into the corner of the St. Clair zone. I'd like to see if St. Clair can hold this uh, hold this lead here. Up by one. Uh, nice little demo there. Hexkey demos can uh, come on. That's a good little start. Here's looking to clear it. Get out of here. Fusion keeping it in. Uh oh. And come on. Oh. Kamal oh, nearly that, that would have been so beautiful. That would have been a highlight play right there. He nearly found a way to sneak in there, but unfortunately for him, doesn't quite finish it off. And it's in a bit of a dangerous position here. Salise tries to make the shot, just goes high. Hexkey shot on target, stopped by Kariz. 
And a minute left here for St. Clair to possibly get their first win here in this series. Bring ourselves to a game four. Fusion redirects towards the net. J Chan going to push us aside. Still 50 seconds left on the clock, and the Saints are pushing forward. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, Fusion. <laughs> Beautiful play there. That right there was some gorgeous play. Come on, look at that. He's everywhere. Drops it down. Fusion Laser gets the fusion. Piece. Oh, hit just under the tires. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow, that was some that was some beautiful teamwork right there. And that could be the little breath of relief that St. Clair needs, that little extra insurance in this game, knowing even if they uh, flub one up here to the University of Ottawa, they still have one more chance. 30 seconds is still plenty of time to make this happen, though, and we are kind of stuck in the St. Clair zone at the moment. Wow, beautiful play there with no boost, just kind of keeping it out, kind of wasting time there, even with no boost. Wow. And a wide Oh, looking open. for the three. Wow. I mean, honestly, just wasting time here is, is the name of the game, I feel like. Absolutely. So St. Clair going to get themselves on the board. The tournament run is not quite done yet. As soon as this ball hits the ground one more time, that'll do it. There it goes. St. Clair on the board. Granted, still the pressure is on. They have absolutely no room for error still. Yeah, that game right there for St. Clair was, uh, was, a, was a massive improvement in my opinion. Uh, I really feel like they, they stepped up to the challenge there and uh, very, very much earned that game. Absolutely. Taking a look at the scoreboard real quick. Like, you'd think that the pressure from St. Clair was that much hotter. They would have more shots than this, but it's actually not the case. Only five shots in this game, with three of them going in. So the pressure wasn't even necessarily from them. <laughs> but they made I, the I... few opportunities that they had count. So they're able to hang on for this time, but that's still going into a new game. If that continues, that could still cause Saints some trouble if they're not careful. I feel like I feel like the pressure was a, was a long uh, just keeping it on the side of Ottawa. I feel like that was a big part of it. I feel like keeping it on the side of Ottawa was a big part of it. Maybe not even so much of taking shots. Like they didn't take as many shots, obviously, but I feel like keeping it on their side, keeping the aggression there, making them play three back rather than having it on their side. I think that was the big thing. They did take more shots, obviously, uh, University of Ottawa, but uh, they just couldn't really make too many of them happen. Absolutely. Now going in to game four. Salise and the rest of the University of Ottawa squad, they want to finish this up. They want to move forward to what would then be the losers quarterfinals. That would be securing yourself, I believe, a top five if you can get there. Obviously, St. Clair wants that as well. And do we know? Yeah, it's Algonquin College who are up ahead of us here in losers quarterfinals. Whoever wins this is going to have to play them. And I, since that first oh. game with the Saints went to a game five very close game scenario. I'm sure the Saints would love a revenge match it's much further here into the bracket. That's what we can see. Shots flying and sparks flying here to start off game four. Yeah, I feel like now that they've uh, warmed themselves up a bit, got the engines warmed up a little bit, now I feel like maybe they have, have a better chance against them. Um, yeah, I mean, most of their games have been going pretty well here against University of Ottawa. Uh, it looks like they're learning uh, from past games. A nice little slowdown there from Kamal as the pop fly through center goes towards Salise. Huge redirect, actually. Shot on target. Good save by Kamal, though, to keep the Saints safe. Now, going to try and push it forward where Hexkey is forced to go on defense. Akira's with no boost. He wasn't able to quite, quite touch that ball there. And so, uh, University of Ottawa clears it out. Uh -oh. And, wow, Salise with the goal. Yeah, sometimes, even if it goes off the backboard, it's not a lost hope. Sometimes the boards are your best teammate, and Salise going yeah. to make that work in this situation. And for the first time this series, it's actually going to be University of Ottawa to secure the first goal in the game. And hopefully that's not a momentum drainer here for the side of St. Clair, because uh, this one could turn real quick if they're not careful. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not unwinnable. Uh, you know, St. Clair has gotten the first goal in each one, and, and um, University of Ottawa has come back. So we'll see if uh, St. Clair can maybe do the same thing, give them oh. a taste of their own medicine. What a save. Wow. 
barely getting a piece of that, but keeping it out. Huge save there by Fusion as he's going to push us forward. Nice little Juco Fusion around J Chan. Shot, but it's too slow. Hexkey going to get there just in time, and J Chan going to have to clear. I mean, the, the the players are just, I feel like they're feeling the heat. They're feeling the fire. They're both both hungry teams. Uh, you know, St. Clair, I'm for sure feeling the pressure. Uh, they want to stay in this. They want to get up there. They want to get to the semifinals. Hey, X key looking to looking to put it in the center here. Looking at, oh, and Kirez. Nice little tackle there. Just straight up throwing himself at him. And I think St. Clair, <laughs> they've kind of clued in a little bit that Hexkey seems to be the play, the finisher to try and throw him off. They're constantly setting him up. So if you take him out of the play, the setups might be there, but there won't be any finishing touches. And they've been constantly really harassing a Hexkey. We've seen Kamal time and time again go for the demo onto him in this series. And the Saints are looking to just do that across the board. Kamal nice little, ooh, almost. Hexkey. Almost that was fun. clean right there. That was a clean little, clean little dribble there. Player dribble. Fusion oh. looking to pinch it out. Dangerous spot. Kamal was the only one in the back, and that's going to be J Chan securing the goal after Saints overextend themselves. Kriz and Solis challenge each other. Did not work in their favor, and Hexky sacked himself right there to allow J Chan to go forward. A nice play on the side of University of Ottawa, but the hometown crowd here and the Saint Clair chat are probably a little bit flustered after that one because it could be the beginning of the end here for the Saints run. Yeah, I mean, let's see. I mean, there's still a minute 40 left. Tons of time, honestly. Like I said before, Rocket League, one minute is like feels like five. It's, it's so long. And you have overtime. You have a bunch of stuff. So they, they still have the time to possibly come back and win this. Just really got to apply themselves, like, right now. Yeah, they got to find themselves an opening, and they got to find one quickly in order for this to move forward here. Minute 20 moving, and that's an okay start. Kariz finds Hexky, takes him out. Fusion, doing what Fusion always does. Slows it down. Drop pass for Kariz. Kariz tried to slow it down as well. I like the attempts, but Hexky gets just a fender on it and is able to push it aside. Yeah, this is a very back and forth. They're both playing, playing hard right now. Just back and forth, back and forth. It's not really staying at anyone's side. So Lee's looking to put it in. Come on with a nice save. Oh, good oh, save. Oh, what a save by Karras. There's no rebound, though, and no everyone leave. focused on hex key. It allows the players that you may not necessarily think are threats to become the most threatening. And if you're trying to chase Hexkey, does not matter. Salise going to get the pass from Hexkey and put this into a three-goal deficit for St. Clair. Rather brutal. 45 seconds left to go. I'm at a loss for words. This one could be it. Yeah, this one could be it, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, the St. Clair squad really put in work today, honestly. Um, making it to where they have made it to is, is pretty impressive. So, no. I mean, you learn. You live and learn, right? You learn from uh, each match you play. Uh, it's not like they got shut out right away or anything like that. And Kamal makes a goal. Oh. I mean, is there a little bit of life? 18 seconds left. A little bit of life showing. Um, Obviously not much time, but... Winnable? How much of... Uh, <laughs> how much energy do they have left if they... If they're saving their super, they need to go now with it because it's kind of brutal yeah. right here, right now. And Solis, this is actually the worst case scenario here for St. Clair. Pop fly through their crease, and it's going to be for naught unless they can somehow make that ball teleport. Even if they score the one, that it's going to be too little, too late. University of Ottawa going to be moving forward here in the Ruckus League tournament towards the oh. losers' quarterfinals up against Algonquin College. And the Saints are going to have to settle for a top eight, which by all means is still fantastic, but the run here is done. Yeah, I mean, that's still still something to be proud of, I feel like, you know, getting top oh, yeah. eight, nothing wrong with that. You know, you, you learn, like I said, you live and learn, and uh, you know, they'll be back again. The last time you see the St. Clair squad. We have a bit of a break here for the Rocket League squad for the, the holidays, of course, but if, with uh, Rocket League, pretty much every single college league I can think of. Everyone loves running Rocket League.
So they'll definitely be back for some more. And it was just an overall solid run nonetheless. Going, it would be 2-2 two and two overall in this tournament, making top 8 with a bunch of, of course, extremely solid Ontario, Canadian uh, colleges and universities. And I actually like this tournament. To be honest, every match was back to back to back. I didn't have anybody complaining. This is a nice change for once, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that was that was really exciting for me. Uh, you know, my first time casting, I really enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> Rocket League is just an exhilarating game. It, like I said, you know, we've said a bunch of times, it's it's just nonstop. And I mean, St. Clair really put up a, a, a good fight today. Uh, you know, I, I was very impressed with their play. Uh, they got top eight. You know, nothing, to, nothing to you know shake a stick at. You know what I mean? It's nothing. It, it's great. It's wonderful. So uh, I was very thankful to be here. Uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Danners, for uh, letting me join along in this this stream. So thank hey, you. We all have to start somewhere, and I'm extremely happy that you're able to join me here on Rocket League. I know, especially too, that I had you initially studying some Rainbow Six Siege, and then all of a sudden, um, I <laughs> yeah. know you've been doing Siege, but. Um... What Rocket League? <laughs> so like, yeah, um, right? you came in clutch I was, I was, today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was studying up on my Rainbow Six knowledge, and uh, and I got hit with the the Rocket League, and I'm like, ah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do some Rocket League. And I like I said, I don't regret it. I had a great time, and uh, yeah, I just want to thank you again. Uh, you know, I want to thank Saint Clair. Uh, I mean, the Saints, like I said, they played really well. Uh, top eight, nothing to laugh about. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, our pleasure, of course. Big thank you, of course, to you, Ramball, as well as Zeddy, who was commentating earlier in the afternoon. And we are pretty well just about wrapped up in regards to matches for the holidays. We do have one more, though, pretty much right before Christmas. So I hope you do look to join us. It'll be this Wednesday coming up, the 23rd at 8.30, where the Collegiate R6 winter season the main season finished. It is now time for playoffs. So we get to see how our Saints can do there. And if you were studying up on some Rainbow Six, I'll gladly have you in for that one. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly can't wait. That's like I said, that's what I was prepared for was the Rainbow Six. So I, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to do some Rainbow Six. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, big props to the players today, the St. Clair squad. They had a rough one to start things off. Like, I mean, you your first game of the day goes to game five, like, last couple goals scenario. That is one way to start things off. Algonquin College took us out in that situation there. Then moving forward, yeah. Carleton University, that was a clap and a half. Then Guelph University, <laughs> that they give, they that was, that was a, that was a fight there. Guelph definitely looked yeah. a little bit shook. We did play them just after a loss. And it just looked like the momentum was kind of drained. And then versus University mm -hmm. of Ottawa, they're like you're referencing it quite a lot throughout the cast, but just the pressure that they were putting on was absolutely absurd. Yeah. I remember like two shots to fourteen and like some random numbers like that. That was absolutely brutal. And Saints gonna have to go back to the drawing board, but they have quite a bit of time to do it as their seasons start up in January. Yeah, and I and I'm very excited for the for the season in January. Uh, you know, I, I can't wait to see these guys play again um you know just just beautiful play i mean i was super impressed super impressed with those guys with the st Clair squad so i mean yeah what, what a what a what a great day for me what a great day for me to be able to cast uh, such great players all around honestly all players were great and they did uh you know some beautiful plays like i said fusion made some ridiculous like pass to himself plays that were great uh you know i enjoyed that so yeah Absolutely. And of course, once again, thank you for hopping on. Now, of course, before we thank do you so much. Before we do close out, once again, I also want to thank the sponsors that of course make the St. Clair Saints Esports team all possible, that being St. Clair College, St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair SRC, Duckelman School of Business and IT, PC Outlet, and Tim Hortons. Could not do this without you. And then I also want to thank everybody for tuning in to the broadcast here today. Whether you're from one of our opponents or whether you're here for the hometown crowd for St. Clair, the fact that you are like supporting your either your program, your friends or family or anybody who you know that is in and pursuing esports, whether it be as a player or a coach or whatever it happens to be, the fact that you're supporting them is an absolute blessing. And I thank you for doing so. Now, Dylan, any final words here before we close off for tonight? 
Uh, maybe just, uh, you know, another thank you to uh, St. Clair. Another thank you to yourself. Uh, thank you to our sponsors. Uh, thank you to, to, to the Twitch chat. Thank you to, to everybody. I guess it's more so just appreciation uh, for, for being here. So, so I guess just thank you to everyone is uh <laughs> thank you for letting me be here <laughs> i guess that that would be my closing statement <laughs> well it's an absolute pleasure and of course thank you for being here and with that we will close out for today we'll probably have some um replays of past matches here on the saints stream uh coming up very shortly and of course next live match wednesday the 23rd 8 30 you'll probably catch us both on here again for some rainbow six siege cr6 winter playoffs but until then I will be signing out. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe out there and uh, stay hydrated. <laughs>